John, where do you feel that one went wrong today? Um, look, it was. Uh, it's always a tough game when you play away from home here. Um, you know, you need a little bit going your way. Um, and uh, what didn't go our way was the, the goal. It was initially offside when they played the ball in behind. Topper Stanley had to play at it because Barillo is right there. And they went and scored from it. Um, didn't go our way. And, uh, and then after that, I thought that uh, when we went to press in the first half, we weren't pressing well and they were able to play through us at times and get down the other end pretty easy. Um, but we still got into the final third very easy. But we just, our, our quality let us down today in that final third. We, I think, it had 12 corners to their five. So it showed that we're getting in those positions, but we weren't creating enough chances. And, um, you know, so that's, uh, that's disappointing because, you know, without playing particularly well, we still had opportunities to create more. I, I don't know if the last three weeks, I think you want to say you've been Hobart and Carth than here's maybe... Bit of the travel catching up with them? No, nah, I wouldn't say that it's a travel. I would say that the, you know the heat did play a factor. You know, again today we played in extreme heat last week, as you know. Um, again today, we're not used to it as much because we're in Melbourne. It's only 15, 16 degrees at the moment there. Um, Josh Risden had to go off because he was uh, getting dizzy from from the heat, heat exhaustion. Um, and you see a few of the boys really struggled with the heat, but. Again, we have to deal with it because it's summer football. We had to play at three o'clock. Um, and, uh, you know, it's something that uh, we just have to get used to. I was going to ask you about Josh. So he, you, he told you he wasn't feeling, or he told the medical yeah, staff? Yeah, he, told, yeah, he was the, he's feeling dizzy and, uh, and sick. So, you know, we're not going to risk someone that with heat exhaustion to keep on going. So we're low at the back at the moment. So, you know, it wasn't ideal for us, but you know, we have to look out for the health and safety of our players. Is, is he all right in there now? Is he positive? Yeah, I haven't really checked on him. The doctor's checking on him. I guess in terms of the movements and transfers, the window ends in two days. Were you guys looking at to get anyone perhaps in the next two days? Uh, have to wait and see. I haven't really thought about it today because of concentrating on the game. But um, that's something that we'll see. If, uh, if we need to get any players in, depending on also if there's any more injuries that we've got, um, especially at the back, and if there's any players available, really. Is there anything you're going to be looking to change during training over the next week ahead of the game with Adelaide? Uh, just keep on in trying to improve, you know, because that was our only our second loss in, in eight games, so it's not like we've been terrible. Um, and it's, when you come to the Wanderers, you expect them to come at you and then, you know, create a lot of chances. They didn't really have a lot of clear-cut chances. Um, you know, I'm not saying that they weren't the better team because I felt they were, but um, we don't have to change too much. We have to just keep on trying to improve, keep positive. We know the season can change very quickly with a few wins. Sydney FC has shown that. You know, we beat them a couple of weeks ago and now their season's completely changed. So we've got Adelaide coming up. It'll be a good game, tough game, but it's back in Melbourne, so... Shouldn't be, hopefully, as hot as it has been here. All good. Thank you. Cheers, John.